So if you know me, you know I love handheld. I think it has a great look. It's applicable to a ton of shooting scenarios. The only thing is it is incredibly exhausting. That's where Focus Rat comes in. So this is pretty much just a fancy bean bag or pillow for your camera. Oh yeah, this is actually comfortable. So I was looking for a saddle. Um, I reached out to Focus Rat. I asked them to review this just because I wanted to check it out. I was in the market for one. You put it around your neck, like so. You put your camera right on top and it relieves a ton of energy that you'd be exerting from just holding the camera physically. It gives it a bit of a cushion. When I have this thing on, I notice that I can operate for way longer than I would if I were to just be holding the camera. If you've never used a saddle before, I highly recommend you just carry one of these in your kit. It allows you to set your camera down on the ground when you're not using it, just like a sandbag if you're trying to get a super low angle shot, but you don't have time to do a hi-hat and you're not doing anything with panning or tilting, you can just throw it right on the focus rat. The materials are super high quality. I really enjoy the feeling of this bag. I think the strap is a lot more comfortable than some of the other competitors out there. It's really easily adjustable. It's got these big clips right here. You can just slide it off. They also have these loops. I think this is for a car mount if you were to slap it on the side of a car or something. It is literally just a bag, so you don't have to worry about calibrating or tightening your easy rig harness or anything like that. It is so fast to just take your camera, throw it on here and start shooting. At first you might think it looks a little silly and it kind of does, but I think this company has done a great job of just embracing the aesthetic. One of the reasons I really like using a saddle is because Obviously, I can get that sort of handheld look. It's not quite shoulder rig either. I've noticed that shoulder rig can be really tough for tall people. I'm six foot and I feel like it's just a little bit too tall. Whereas for me, the saddle kind of puts my camera right at eye level for most people. So I think that's like the best case scenario for a kind of camera support. If you're looking to get an easy rig, I don't think this is going to replace that, but it is going to do a really good job of kind of filling in the gaps. I love to just set my camera on this thing when I am not using it, whether it's on my camera assistance cart, I can just throw it on top, or if I wanna just kind of set it on the ground, but have a little bit more safety, you can set it on there as well and it rests really nicely. This bag has one big loop on the side if you wanted to clip some stuff there. There's also some big pockets right here. You can probably tell, but the materials are pretty high quality. Let's talk pros and cons. For the cons list, I think you're obviously gonna have less mobility than you would if you were handheld. If you're handheld, you can be up high, eye level, you can be down low within a matter of seconds. With something like this, you're gonna have to readjust the strap every time. But like I said, it's so easy to just pull this thing off. After you finish your handheld shots, you can go right back to this thing, save your energy. I only found out about Focus Rat pretty recently, but I do know these bags have been designed by a first AC who is working in the industry, which that sort of gives me a little bit of peace of mind that these things are made with high quality. It also makes me trust that a lot of thought went into the design choices with this bag. All of the Focus Rat products are handmade. They're made in Transylvania, Romania, which is pretty cool. Are you trying to shop for multiple bag options, small, medium, large? No, I am not. Nope. I'm not. I'm okay. not. Nope. Yep. Okay. There are multiple bag options that you can choose from, small, medium, large, and steady. So obviously that's going to support different camera sizes from mirrorless all the way up to Alexa and above. This is made out of... I don't know that. Alexa, we're not having a conversation. <clears throat> These bags are made out of a thick, water-resistant Cordura fabric, super durable. You are able to replace the material if anything happens inside. I like these fully removable hooks, which is pretty cool. On the bottom, there's like this non-slip material. It's kind of shiny, but it works pretty well. The Focus Rat Saddle also comes with a one-year warranty. So, so far I've brought this on a documentary project. I've also brought it to a wedding. For the doc, I thought this was just great because I could just throw it on. I didn't have to worry about an AC adjusting my harness or having to reconfigure from shoulder rig to handheld. I literally had my handheld set up. You just throw it on the bag and you don't have to change anything about your rig. So if you are running shoulder rig, you can sling this bag over your shoulder and rest your elbows on it. 
And this kind of provides you with an extra point of contact so that way your shots are even more stable. This thing has been really durable. I haven't seen any signs of tearing. I haven't really seen any marks on it. Um, I plan on beating it up. I wanna put it through its paces and yeah, so far so good. This bag is durable, it's practical. I was in the market for a saddle, so they sell these on B&H. You can get free two day shipping. It's really convenient. Um, yeah, and the price is right. I think this one was in the $200 range. This is the color I got. I got the beautiful lavender color, but there's plenty of other options as well. Thanks for watching.